so we are a writing partnership. We've been working together for six or seven years now. We've, we've done a range of things, a few different games, quite a lot of TV experience. Most of the TV stuff is sort of magic shows, and we've also done a lot of live theatre as well. One of the things we've done extensively is work on the Derren Brown projects in the UK. For those that don't know, he's a big illusionist and a mind reader. Designing sort of tricks and experiences for people to go through live has a real sort of feed across to games. We have two criteria that we try to fulfill when we work on a project, which is... Is uh, it cool? And does it make sense? Yeah. Normally we'd have to do a writing test before we get offered the job, but in this case we just had a Skype with the studio and we were waiting for the bit where they Writes said, a few okay. scenes and we'll get back to you and let you know if you've been successful. But what actually happened was, they said, great, when can you start? Well, I think the actual phrase was, uh, do you want to make a game with us? Yeah. <laughs> Which is a bit of a double take. I mean, yeah, if someone asks you that, you say yes. I think it's the first project we've worked on where we have literally been given the assets and told to go away and play and mm, figure it out. Mm. You can't sum it up in one phrase. You know, you look at screenshots and you think, oh, it looks like a first person shooter. Or you look at the setting and you think it looks like a horror game. But I think that once you get under the surface and once you play it, you realize it stands alone as something I don't think you've seen before. You play a character called Coal Black. At the start of the game, you are clearly attempting to, to save someone. And I wouldn't want to go any further than that. You, the player, are in the same position as he is, trying to piece everything together and trying to figure everything out. This is me. What's going on? Hello? Oh, thank you. You won't regret this. You won't regret this at all. You won't always be aware that you've made a decision, and it's only retrospectively that you might suddenly realise, oh, I uh, made a decision there that has, a, that has affected something and has consequences. But the process of playing it is one of discovery, we hope. And I think what you're saying is you've basically got about 10 to 12 hours of not knowing what the fuck is going on. <laughs> and then about five minutes at the end where it all makes sense and uh, everyone's high-fiving. What the fuck? Hello? That's it, Mr. Black. Relax, breathe. You're back with us. If you look at the whole process, our whole process in Get Even, it's almost like there was a third writer on our team. That was the sound designer, Olivier. He always had questions about the story. He had a real hunger to understand it because he had a real hunger to want the sound design to, to make sense in context of what mm -hmm. the story was. What was great, there are certain scenes in Get Even where we managed to, and this was a game from the sound designer, Olivier's uh, insistence, for some of the more emotional scenes, get all the actors who were involved into the sound booth together and just allow them to play off each other, which sounded so much more natural. And what was great in the room, you could really feel it in your chest, couldn't you? Yeah. I hope that's translated to the game. Hey, honey, it's me. Pick up if you're there. Okay, well, bad news, I'm afraid. The caterers have cancelled on us. So they were double booked for the Saturday, so we're going to have to find someone else. It was never a goal of ours to set out and say, let's try and make people have an emotional response. There is a difficult uh, addition to that though. Yeah. When we say, does get even make sense? I think at first glance, you might not think it does, but you'll get to a certain point in the game and it will completely make sense. And I think that's the point. If there is an emotional response, that it will get you. Where were you? At work. Where's Bruce? You went to work, I called you at work. I called you on your mobile, I even called Bruce. When you understand what's actually going on in the game and you've been with these characters for so long and there are a few bombshells dropped, I think they'll be the, the moments that, that affect you as a human. We can't wait to see what people think of we Get Even. Um, we can't wait to play it. <laughs> <laughs>